I remember when that door slammed shut. The first night I couldn't sleep because I had nightmares about the camera. You know, when you go to the bathroom, they watch you. When you change your clothes, they watch you. And this is very hard to deal with and very hard to get adjusted to, you know. And I remember when I came back my first night, I would go to the bathroom and not close the door. I go to the bathroom with no door closed and people start telling me, Mohammed, you need to close the door. And then I said, yeah, okay, now I have dignity. I can close the door, you know, because I don't need to be watched. I mean, this needs to end. This very concept, and I'm sorry to say this, of terrorism, of national security, this is a sham. This is a way for the government to use unjustified violence against citizens. And we as citizens, all we can hope for is the rule of law. Because we we cannot fight the government because the government has the tools of violence, they have weapons, they have the police, they have spies, and they have all of that. But simple people like me and Stella, and all the people who are uh, attending, including people in the government, all we can hope for is the rule of law. And if they invoke national security, that's just a way to punish people outside the rule of law, nothing else. And the other point I would like to bring up, we need to rejoice this uh, victory, this win now that uh, Julian Assange, Assange cannot be extradited. This is huge. I mean, <laughs> I mean, American prison are, are black holes. You know, if you go there, by the time anyone could verify anything, you will be dead. You know, people should concentrate and should appeal to the decent uh, people uh, in the UK and decent people, I mean, in the government, outside of the government, to end this and release people who don't belong to prison.